Okay, so as promised, here's the cake recipe. First, we're going to start off with 250 grams of self raising flour, 110 grams of melted butter, uh, 150 grams of caster sugar, 50 grams of cocoa powder. One teaspoon of baking powder, eggs times three. You can see I'm reading from a recipe here. Um, the zest and juice of one orange, 150 milliliters of milk, and 120 grams of Terry Chocolate Orange. That's all we need in a minute to start this off. Um, first things first, get your mixing bowl. Ah, actually, first things first, let's preheat the oven to 180, that's 160 if it's fan assisted or gas mark 4-ish. Right, so we're going to put all the dry ingredients in the bowl to go on. So we've got our flour, our cocoa powder, get that all in there. Our caster sugar, and then we're going to go and stick in our baking pan to start with. And we're going to want one teaspoon of this. There you go. All right, move that out of the way. That's all the dry ingredients to go off bar the chocolate. Now I'm going to put the wet skewer on, which is the butter, which is melted, lovely, along with the milk, and let's crack three eggs. This ingredients with. I'm going to use this fork. I'm just going to whisk up this egg and this milk and this butter until it's a nice eggy, consistent colour. Um, I don't know if you can see that. I'm just using a fork. Um, Mrs. has got all this fancy gear and that, you know, um, electric whisk and stuff. But I'm just going to do it this way because it will float. Thing. Yeah, that'll do for that. That's lovely. Right, what we're now going to do, stir around in these dry ingredients a little bit. Let's mix them up lovely. Lovely. Then we're going to pour in these wet ingredients. Make sure you get that all out of there. Now we're going to mix this all up until it's nice, smooth batter, cake mix, whatever you want to call it, it is made. And then we've got a couple of extra things to dunk in it to mix through when we're at that stage, so. If it gets a bit, that's it, give it some stain on like that. And get it all mixed up, get all these dry ingredients incorporated in it. That's it, that's looking lovely. Right, I've still got to put in there the Terra Chocolate Orange pieces and the zest and peel, um, the zest and juice, sorry, of the orange. So maybe slightly dry at the minute. 
so. All right. That's, uh, that's this orange. And I'm just doing this with a uh, cheese grater. Um, yeah. I'm using the big ones. I like nice big chunks. I don't know whether that's going to come out like that in the pudding or but I'm hoping it's going to give it a nice a nice tang. So we made this the other day, me and the wife, and it was absolutely beautiful. And as promised on the vlog, I did say if it turned out then I was going to attempt to make it myself. That's Dacia's at work. So this is all me. So this could go tits up like lemon drizzle cake. Now if you don't know what I'm talking about, go and have a look in the rest of my videos and look for my lemon drizzle cake for idiots by an idiot and you will see that even an idiot can mess up such an easy, easy recipe. I did that video thinking it was foolproof and I'd look good and made myself look silly. So, there's also a chance that I could do that here as well, but my confidence level on this one's a bit more. Um, yeah, let's see. Right. So as you see, that's fairly well zested. Not perfect before anyone goes, oh no. But, can you see that in there? Lovely jubbly. Right, I'm going to dunk in 120 grams of broken up Terry's chocolate orange pieces. It doesn't have to be Terry's chocolate orange, you could use any brand chocolate orange you like. It's the only one I can actually think of. Um, I'm just going to juice this orange. I'm going to do that. I'm just going to cut it off with a knife. I'm going to use the white little juice to thing here. Because uh, I don't normally get to use it. She's not. Mm, I'm doing it. It's my juice, Well, today, you're not here. And that also means more pudding for me at the end of it. So that's always a bonus as well. The kids are all upstairs and they're all actually being good, patiently waiting for the pudding. But no one filming it for YouTube, so they better be quiet. No, they are. They're being quiet. They're good as gold. Um, they're generally good kids. Um, I moan about them a lot. I moan about a lot of things a lot, if I'm honest. Um, but yeah, they are good kids. I don't know what I'd do with them. To be honest. So you just have to excuse my dog taking a drink right in the middle of a video. Um, his bowl just happens to be right next to the camera there. And he picks this time right now, so I'll drink. Winston, you might, mate. Thank you. Go lay down. Oh, good boy. Right, that's one well and truly juiced. One well and truly. And we add this also to the mixture. Now, we give it a final stir. Get that all in there. I don't know if you can see that clearly, but oh yeah, the smell is absolutely gorgeous. And um, yeah, this has made it a lot runnier. Beforehand, I should have, but I didn't because um, I wasn't that well prepared. Even though I weighed out all my ingredients and everything, I didn't think far enough forward to have my lasagna dish um, greased that's what I'm going to use to cook it in. Um, I don't know what size it is. I'll show it before I put it on obviously. Um, before I put it in the oven, sorry. Um, yeah, you'll just have to figure it out, sorry. Um, I'm not a master chef or baker or pudding maker. I don't know what one of them's called. Is it a chef? Is it a baker? Is it cook? I couldn't tell you. Yeah, right, I'm going to get that so it's lovely incorporated and the only chunks that are in it are of chocolate orange which is where I think we're at now which is spot on 
Right. Need to get yourselves. Um, no plug on the brand name intended, but obviously, Domino, if you want to sponsor me, you can always hit me up as well. Glad to have any sponsorship, if I'm honest. Um, I need to butter this up and I also need to pop the kettle on. So I'm just going to go and do that and then we'll be back. Okay, so we're back. Alright. <clears throat> Greased up my lasagna dish. Now I'm going to take the 25 grams of cocoa powder and the 200 grams of light muscovado sugar, brown sugar, and we're going to mix that up into 300 milliliters of boiling water. Um, I didn't bring a proper spoon for this, so I'm going to have to salt that one second. And the curry, for, um, curry powder, oh that rank. Cocoa powder. Thank you. I'm just going to grab another spoon. Why am I dodging me? Lovely. Right. So I'm going to mix this up now. Make sure it's all dissolved and no lumps. I don't know if you can see. It's just like a big, saucy, sugary, chocolatey mess. Well, mixture. Yeah, mixture. Not mess, mixture. Um, I've probably not done that right. You'll probably say, oh, you should have mixed it another way so then it don't. I mean, Susie would have made a paste actually before she uh, put all the rest of the water in. That might work better. Um, yeah, you might find your technique slightly better than mine. Right, once you're sure. Or you're happy enough that it's mixed up, which I am. I'm happy enough, I'm not sure. We're going to take the bar and a, and a spoon off first, and we're going to take a spatula and we're going to empty this into our buttered lasagna dish. I about just got out of my bit, didn't I? A little bit. Never mind. Anyway, let's have this. Oh, I've got a big bit of zest then. Should have done it that way around so you could see better, shouldn't I? But um, I'm not a professional. I'm trying to break into this YouTube game. You know, I do uh, exploring how to fix it, trying to fix it videos, all sorts. Um, yeah, thought I'd try and arm up a bit of this. This recipe was actually, well, I say stolen, taken from um, the My Virgin Kitchen. Um, yeah, it's actually lovely. It was even inspired me to try to do a bit of cooking on my channel. So, anyway. I'm not sure how it was, you can see that. But this is the bit that you're all gonna think is a little bit crazy. And I must admit, when I first thought it, I thought it was crazy too. But bear with me, it works. We now take this chocolate saucy mixture and we pour it straight onto the wet mix. That's right, straight onto the wet mix. if you can see that but yeah now this goes in the oven for between 25 to 40 minutes depending on your oven and what have you and so just keep your eye on it after the 25 minute mark um yeah so i'm gonna bang that in now and then i'm gonna get everything tidied up and what have you so i can get the kids at the table for when it's ready and we'll do a serving up and a taste test type reaction video like so sad 
Oh, Jesus. Oh. Today's ad break is brought to you again by Monster Juiced Mango Loco. Please sponsor me, Monster. So I've just had a cheeky look in the oven and it looks absolutely bang on. Now, I would show you, but then I'd spoil it. So I'm just going to leave you all in suspense and you can wait till I dish it up. And we get the kids' reactions at the same time. So, yeah, I don't know how I'm going to film it and dish it up at the same time because I can't seem to get a good angle. And yeah, uh, now I'm on my selfie stick. So, yeah, I'll figure it out. And there you have it. Alright. I need to put something down on the table. Make sure that I don't burn the table. I want to put that down on it before I serve it up. So I'm going to go sort that problem out. Right, we're going to get the first scoop on camera. This is a. Uh, sees whether it works or not. Oh yes. Oh you can't see. Oh let me take a better shot of that. And spoon on some sauce. Beautiful. I want to serve some of this up for me and the kids and then we'll do a, a reaction test uh, well not a test but okay yeah. so the kids are all here go for it see what you think Good. is it yummy? yeah yeah really yummy? what yeah. do you think Sharon? good yeah? Good, but I didn't get a shot amazing yeah that's really good what are you saying? It's amazing. It's actually like loads better than any other pudding. It's super duper amazing. I love my dad. <laughs> I love me too. <laughs> well, the kids love it. And uh, I've got myself a bowl here. So I'm going to crack on and eat that. Okay, so there you have it. Terry's chocolate orange self-sourcing pudding. Made by me. And I didn't even cock it up which is ace. Um, last time I made it was with a wife. and But as I promised, I did, said if it worked out the first time, I'll do it again, this time with an L2. So if you like this video, please put a like or a comment or please consider subscribing. Uh, if you could share my video, well, I'd like to get up to 100 subscribers if I can. Um, trying to boost my ratings up like I'm going to aim low and try and build high. So yeah, thanks very much. I'll see you next time. Bye.